Hey there, tired of struggling with Flutter setup? Let's simplify it. Or, the fastest way to get started with Flutter development. In this video, we'll guide you through a streamlined setup for Flutter development using Visual Studio Code. We'll cover everything from installing Flutter SDK to creating your first project. So, let's get started. Search Flutter on Google and click on the first link as shown. Now click on Get Started on top right corner. Choose your platform, like in this video we are using Windows. Now here you can check basic system requirements. Once you verify system details, download Git as shown. If it's already installed in your system you can skip this step. While Git is downloading, let's move on to downloading Android Studio. First, check the system requirements for Android Studio to ensure compatibility. Once confirmed, proceed to download it as demonstrated. Scroll down and download it as shown. Since I've already downloaded it, I'll cancel the download for now. Congratulations! We've completed the first step. Now, let's quickly install Git first, followed by Android Studio. For now, we'll stick with the default settings, but feel free to customize them based on your preferences. Congratulations! We have installed Git successfully. Now let's install Android Studio real quick. Congratulations! Android Studio is now installed. Let's move on to configuring it. Great! Now click on More Actions and then SDK Manager, as shown. Here's where you can download SDK platforms. For this video, we'll go with Android 11. But hey, feel free to grab as many as you like based on your needs. Awesome! Next up, let's install the Android SDK command line tools. These are super important because they allow Flutter to communicate with your Android device during development. Let's get it done real quick. Congratulations! We've completed the second step. If you've already got Visual Studio Code installed, feel free to skip to the next step. Otherwise, let's go ahead and install it. While we install VS Code, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Great! We've installed Visual Studio Code successfully. Now let's download and set up Flutter. Follow the steps as shown. Now, open Visual Studio Code, head over to the Extensions tab, and search for the Flutter and Dart extensions. Go ahead and download them, just like shown here. Great! The extensions are installed. Now, press Ctrl plus Shift plus P, type Flutter, and select Create New Project, then Download SDK. When the Select folder for Flutter SDK dialog displays, choose where you want to install Flutter. Consider percent user profile percent or C colon backslash dev. And boom, Flutter is now downloading to your system. It might take a few moments, so grab a coffee and relax while it gets everything ready. When the Flutter install succeeds, VS Code displays this pop-up notification. Do you want to add the Flutter SDK to Path so it's accessible in external terminals? Click Add SDK to Path. When successful, a notification displays. The Flutter SDK was added to your path. VS Code may display a Google Analytics notice. If you agree, click OK. To enable Flutter in all PowerShell windows, close, then reopen all PowerShell windows. Restart versus code. Now, open your terminal and run the command Flutter Doctor. This will check your system setup and make sure everything is good to go. As you can see, it's showing some Android licenses not accepted. No worries, let's fix that. Just run the command. Flutter Doctor, Android Licenses, and accept the licenses to move forward.
Great. Now let's rerun Flutter Doctor command. To enable Flutter for Windows development, you'll need to install the desktop development with C++ workload, including all its default components. But for now, you can safely ignore this warning and move on. Let's create a new project using Flutter. Run command Flutter create your project name. You can configure the JDK version according to your setup using the command flutter config, JDK, DR, as shown. This will ensure everything is aligned for your project. Let's run our project real quick. Open the project and VS Code as shown. Choose the platform and then hit run. So there you have it. You've just set up your flutter development environment with VS Code in a jiffy. See? It wasn't so scary after all. Now it's time to unleash your creativity and build amazing Flutter applications. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Flutter tutorials, tips, and tricks. And if you have any questions or run into any trouble along the way, leave a comment below. We're here to help. Happy coding! See you in the next one!